thank you for watching the SolidWorks PCB Shape Your World demo. My name is Christine Morris. What is SolidWorks PCB? It is a complete electronic design software with true mechatronic collaboration with SolidWorks. It is a rebranded product from Altium and it's powered by Altium um, and available at this time. Why SolidWorks PCB? Estimate how many times you had to respin a PCB. Maybe two or three times. On average, how much did that cost? 5,000 or 10,000, possibly more? Did that include the engineering time or the manufacturing time? What about the time to market with the actual product? SolidWorks PCB can eliminate those and streamline that design process, especially with that MCAD, ECAD, collaboration within the tools. Really helping to reduce those costs and provide all the manufacturing data. The design flow is you'll start your schematic, update via an automated engineering change order process, place the components, route the traces, and then do the exchange of data between the ECAD and MCAD to ensure your constraints are met, and then you would generate your manufacturing outputs. Because it is in a parasolid data for the bi-directional exchange of the MCAD-ECAD data, it is directly native to the SOLIDWORKS products. The schematic editor also is ribbon-based, very similar to your SOLIDWORKS tools. You'll notice everything starts with the project in the design. You can wire up and place parts directly from the schematic editor. And you'll notice there is a compile that allows you to uh, go ahead and look at those drafting and electrical errors before you actually produce the PCB board or push that data through the engineering change order process. You'll notice it is a push button solution um, from the project menu, update PCB document will allow me to push that through this engineering change order and really eliminate the import and export of files. It automatically will prompt you in the PCB editor once it's executed and makes that seamless in the design process. The menu items will dynamically change. Uh, you can see the, the board has the components placed. Normally they're over to the right hand side and you would place those then route them either through you can route them in the interactive router or through the, the auto router as well. You would place those components. If you want to place those and have the 3D models associated as well, you can do that. And the libraries here you can see, there are 500,000 libraries available that come with the tool when you install it. You can have the vault with the symbol, the footprint, and the supplier data available to you. You can place from the libraries panel also. It will allow you to generate all the manufacturing outputs as well. You can generate the Gerber files, the NC drill, the bill of materials, and the assembly drawings, all the manufacturing and fabrication data. It has a real-time 3D checking. Within the design rules, you can set up your minimum and horizontal and vertical clearances. And you'll notice on the right hand side, it has that online DRC enabled to see in bright green where those errors or collisions are. And I can navigate to those directly and then fix those prior to going out to manufacturing or fabrication to ensure that my board is done right the very first time. I also have the collaboration with SOLIDWORKS. This allows me essentially that back and forth exchange of the data. Uh, when I install the tools, there's a collaboration server that the ECAD data goes into and, and also the MCAD data. Because it's exchanged in the parasolid format, that's what's brought in as an add-in to the SOLIDWORKS tools. If I make a change to the board outline or move around components in, in either the ECAD or the SOLIDWORKS tool, I can push it through that collaboration panel and see those changes happen dynamically makes for very easy collaboration within the SOLIDWORKS environment. So again, reducing those error-prone processes that are, tend to be with tools. 
Summary of the key functionalities, it's a full electronic design tool. It offers real-time 3D checking for fitment and form factor, and it has true collaboration with SOLIDWORKS in the Parasolid format. So now let's take a look at the actual tools. When I open up SOLIDWORKS PCB, um, again, with the tool being rebranded, you will open up the project and that's where everything starts within the design process. The menu items are going to be ribbon based, just like your SOLIDWORKS tools. I can place parts and wires in the schematic. I can, the component properties will be associated with each of those that are placed, whether that's through the vaults or my own libraries and allows me to go ahead and do a compile of the data. I can also view the libraries to place from, and you can see I can directly place from the menu item there. I can do my Vault Explorer as well, which allows me to place from that Altium Vault that I explained previously. And you can see it has the symbol, the 3D, and then the supplier data as well. And up at top, if I do a right click, I can just place the component right from the vault and it would then prompt me into my schematic. Once I have that all done, then at that point in time, I may have the chance to go and update that to the PCB. Again, via that engineering change order process. You'll notice there, once I execute the change, it prompts me into the PCB automatically. All these components are already placed. Normally, they're on the right-hand side, but because of time, we just went ahead and, and placed those. You could also go ahead and route interactively, or you can use the auto router that is built in. It has 13 different strategies. It allows you to enable those, and it would route the entire board for you. At the point in time you're, you're ready to actually view the board in 3D, you would set up the libraries with the 3D models. Once those are set up, then you would be able to see those readily. They would always be attached, so whenever you place that, that component in the schematic, it'll be pushed through the automated engineering changeover and then put into the board. And now I'm in 2D mode, I'll go into 3D mode, which is a three key on my keyboard, and you can see all of those models are essentially attached. And at that point in time, I have the collaboration panel that I can push that data to. Under the view menu is where you would find that. And here I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push that board outline across. It will post in that data so the mechanical person, when they open the tools, would be able to see that once the board is rebuilt. And you'll notice also under the system preferences, that vault is the collaboration vault that's installed with the tools initially. And that's where that data is, is placed for the exchange between the applications of SOLIDWORKS PCB and, and SOLIDWORKS. When I pull in the board in SOLIDWORKS, it's basically through the add-in. I'm gonna select the same exact design file, the remote control car. I'm gonna go in and save it click yes because I already have one saved and then I'll start building that board so with that it does have an assembly tree and you'll see that on the, the left hand side basically all the components that are in there the board outline is brought in as well you have all the models that are on the PCB board immediately the thing that takes the longest is going to be putting in those holes because it goes one by one and places those into the SOLIDWORKS. All the different drill holes um, push from the ECAD side. And that panel then is brought in also, and you can see in the task pane, there's a little icon added um, there. And once you open that up, and like we did, we pulled in that board initially, then I can use that panel to exchange the data back to SOLIDWORKS PCB. So it is bi-directional collaboration. If I have library files that are set up and they're identical to my ECAD side, I can use those also. So now my board has been built, the, the holes are there. I'm gonna just go ahead and edit that board outline. Just move it slightly. Again, I can make any changes. I can make it rounded. I can make it a different shape. Um, 
once I rebuild, I can move around components dynamically as well, very easily, just pick it up and drag it. Then I'm going to go into my collaboration panel and I'm going to push that to the ECAD folder. And I'm just going to make the comment um, that I change board outline and move components so the ECAD person, when they open up the tools, would see exactly what was done. Now I'm going to open up my SOLIDWORKS PCB, view changes, and you'll notice when I highlight the item that has changed, it shows the outline of where it's being moved or what has changed in that pink color. I can do a right click, check all, and accept those changes. So now my new board has exactly what the mechanical person had put in place for me and I can start there. I can also move, say, the diode uh, if I choose, and that will now be pushed back to the collaboration server in the same exact fashion. Um, using that push, and I'll just say move the component. Once that's posted, I'm going to open up my SOLIDWORKS tools in the assembly, view that change, and notice it has that Q1. That's going to allow me to actually see where those through holes are moved. And it will show me, and you can see that dynamic change, and then that diode that I changed as well. Once those are brought in and it's officially changed, then I have my full board. And maybe that's all the changes that I needed. Um, now I'm comfortable. I can go ahead and at this point, I can create an assembly from the assembly that was brought in initially. And at that point in time, I'm just going to go ahead and bring in that board that we started with. And now I can go in and I'll just add the transmitter controller as well. And that's going to be enabled as a solid part file. Once I have that placed, I can move it around. I can go ahead and at this point in time, I could mate it. I could also do interference detection on, on the enclosure and the board to ensure there aren't any um, items that I have missed uh, to ensure that that is a complete design. But that is SOLIDWORKS PCB and the integration of the ECAD and MCAD. And it completes my demo today. Uh, thank you for joining and watching our Shape Your World video.